All right, here we go. I am making a video about this assignment as it is a doozy. I would like you to spend some real time on this activity. You will see that this is all that I've posted for the week, which means that I'm expecting a week's worth of your diligence on this assignment. It ends with a summative paragraph, which means I'm grading this as 80% of your grade. This falls in just like a test. So it's very important that we take time on this activity in order to do the best that we can. Here is your activity. There are going to be four clues as we go through. Your job is to tell me what happened to the lost colony of Roanoke. You will remember that the last time I saw you, we did a presentation and we did a lesson on Roanoke and we overviewed some ideas as to what was to happen. If you are looking for that presentation again, you will find it linked inside of Google Classroom. You'll be able to see our activity there. Your document has four clues. Your job is to look through each of the four clues. I would spend some time doing that. Clue one. Clue two. Clue three and clue four. Clue four is kind of a longer one. That's my plan for our four clues. Look through, examine them. After you have your four clues and you've read them, I would go down and I would skip the other theory part. See how I just scrolled right by it? I'd skip that for now. When you are reading, I'd like you to complete this graphic organizer. So for clue one, as you read through it, I'd like you to answer these four points. What you believe when you're reading clue one. What you argue with. As you're reading that clue, you might be like, whoa, Mr. Gebbing said something during our lesson that doesn't agree with this clue. Or perhaps you're thinking to yourself, whoa, I know something about Roanoke. I don't agree with this clue. What you wonder. This is asking you for a question that you might have after looking at these clues. I know that when I read through these clues, I have some extra questions too. If this clue says that something happened, well then I wonder why didn't they do this? Or why didn't John White have done something differently? And what I learned, our fourth item on your clue is telling me something that you learned when you looked over that clue. You will see that there's one, two, three, and four. As you read your four clues, I'd like you to complete those four questions for each of those clues. That's probably day one, day two. Okay, here's day three. That's day one, that's day two. Day one is probably going through and reading everything. Day two, you can go back and you can read through it and you can start working on your graphic organizer. Day three, I'd like you to tell me what you think happened. I'm down on the bottom of your document. It says what I think happened. Complete the paragraph below in complete sentences. This is your final check to show understanding of the activity. The more details you add in the yellow boxes, the more that Mr. Gevin will see that you have understood the activity. Just like our previous documents, these yellow boxes grow as you type. And I'm gonna walk you through these sentences. I think blank happened. So in this first blank, we'd be putting down what happened to the colonists? What's your idea as to what happened to our lost colony of Roanoke? Our second blank, because, hmm, okay. So I think that this happened to the colonists because of that. I believe something, and here you're backing up your belief. Clue number blank backs me up. So if you agree with one of these clues, you would probably go through on this whole what I believe section. Maybe I believe in clue four. I believe that. So I would say clue number four backs me up because it says, and then I would add in what I believe. Clue blank disagrees with me. Oh, so now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna look at what I wrote for my clues. 
if you have one that you say what I argue with, that would be what I'm looking for. What clue do you argue with and what does it say? Okay. I would still like to know, and then you're going to tell me your question of what you'd like to know. I will allow for every question except the following. You cannot say, I would still like to know what happened to the colonists. Too easy. That's a gimme. Everybody wants to know what happened to the colonists. When you're on your last blank here, I would like to know something specific that you are wondering. So perhaps you might think that um, the colonists were, well, I don't know, abducted by aliens. They weren't abducted by aliens. But perhaps on the bottom part, if you believe that they were abducted by aliens and you have evidence from your document to back that up, right here is your backup, then you might still want to know how come the aliens only abducted that colony and not the colonies that came after. If there were aliens that abducted our colonists, why didn't they just keep abducting people? That would probably disagree with the whole aliens. Yeah. There we go. This is three days worth of work. Day one, read through your document, examine it, just check it out. Day two, fill in your graphic organizer. Day three, using complete sentences, finish the paragraph of what you think happened. Super duper cool. I'm excited to see the theories that you have come up with. If you're still stuck at coming up with your own theory, you can check out these two theories as to what may have happened. I'm excited to see what you come up with. Good luck solving the mystery.